Hi guys, so this Friday businesses in Britain will be hit by a rise in VAT. The rate will go from 12.5% to 20%. This is smack right in the middle of a cost of living crisis, which is forcing people to cut back not just on luxuries, but essential items. A small business owner was interviewed by the BBC and he explained two things. One, how the rise will be terrible for his business, but how European countries are somehow better off. Have a listen. When it comes to the VAT increase, from Friday, it'll go back up to 20%. It was only ever a temporary thing at 12.5%. What, what's, what are your customers, what, what are the shops you represent saying to you about the effect of that? It's going to be catastrophic. It's, a, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Unfortunately, VAT at 20% has always been really difficult. It's too much. There's a lot of shops that trade under the threshold as well, which makes it more difficult for those that don't. Um, a lot of European countries have a lower rate of VAT for hospitality, which, what, which is what we're calling for. Okay, before we get to the European aspect of this, and the Brexit aspect of this, of course, um, this rate increase is in the middle of a cost of living crisis. And I don't know if you saw um, the graphic on the screen, the image, it said that about 3,000 fish and chip shops risk closure because of the, rate, the new rate of VAT, or it's returning to 20%. You know, in the middle of a cost of living crisis, I understand that the government need to raise finance, but why don't they tax the people who have money, the multimillionaires and billionaires? Of course, raising VAT is going to have a negative impact on ordinary people. Now, it is important to remember that VAT is not applied to everything. So you can see here, according to the UK government's own website, food and drink, animals, animal feed, plants and seeds. It says here, food and drink for human consumption is usually zero rated, but some items are always standard rated. These include catering, alcoholic drinks, confectionery, crisps and savoury snacks, hot food, sports drinks, hot takeaways, ice cream, soft drinks and mineral water. So for example the fish and chip shop they're going to, uh, they're returning to the standard rate of 20%. But also you know and this is a fact that during the cost of living crisis people are are not able to rely on fresh fruit and vegetables, which are at zero rate of VAT. They're actually forced to rely on junk food, which is cheaper. So that the, the cheap junk food is going to become more expensive, but it's still going to be cheaper than healthy food, which is at zero rate of VAT. So no one's really benefiting from this. The small business owners, as you saw, as you saw here, 3,000 of them say that they're risking closure. Um, now, what about the European angle here, the Brexit angle? Well, remember, Michael Gove said this back in 2016 about VAT and leaving the European Union. If we vote to leave, the hundreds of millions of pounds that we give every week to the European Union come back to Britain and we will control that cash. And if we vote to leave, then we're sending a clear message that we want that money spent on our priorities. My view is that we should spend that money on helping the very poorest. And one of the... Of course, the very poorest are not being helped by Brexit. ...ways in which we can help those most in need is by cutting VAT on domestic fuel. Because fuel bills are 10% of the average weekly outgoings for working families. And I think that they need help. And if we vote leave, we can help them. You've just heard this business owner say that the, the rate of VAT in European countries is lower than in the UK. So leaving the European Union did not help. This was another one of those lies by the likes of Michael Gove, Boris Johnson, Jacob rees Morgan, Nigel Farage, that if we leave, we can lower the rate of VAT. Well, the, the rate of VAT was lowered, but now it's going back up again. So what's the benefit here of leaving the European Union? There is no benefit. But the bigger problem here is these businesses that are struggling at the moment, some of them are going to close. They hire staff. Those staff are going to be laid off. Those staff are going to have to rely on universal credit. And you're going to push the economy closer to a recession. I'd be surprised if the economy doesn't suffer a recession over the next um, number of years. Because... You're taking money out of people's pockets. You're increasing the cost of living for them. And you're not doing anything to help. 
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.